So, wir sind hier auf dem Gelände von Volvo Trucks in Delecon in Herzen der Schweiz. Und wir freuen uns, dass wir heute die Gelegenheit haben, gerade zwei Fahrzeuge, FH Aerotyp, einmal Electric, einmal Diesel, heute ausprobieren zu können. Und zwar mit echten Fahrern aus Schweden, die extra runtergekommen sind. Guys, great to have you here. Thank you very much for taking us on later on. Would you be so kind and introduce yourselves? My name is Jonas. And I'm Stefan. Stefan, okay. Stefan. Jonas and Stefan is manageable for us too. Yeah. Great. I think this is going to be a great day. I mean, we have 660 and 460 horsepower to drive us on. And they are brand new. They were just released in 2024, these two models. So, uh, brand new drivers, brand new vehicles, great sunshine. This is going to be a wonderful day. Stefan Hultsbo, working for Volvo for about 35 years and uh, been professional truck driver uh, for 25 years, 25 year of these years uh, within Volvo and started this with uh, press testing about five years ago. Yeah, and how the relationship to the truck, I mean, how much technological, how much emotional? <laughs> it is your baby. Yeah, of, yeah. Course <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Always been driving Volvo. Ah, okay. Yeah. So always. born and bred from yeah. your 20th anniversary on, it has yes. always been. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's right. So having the experience, I really say, okay, that's that's cool driving with the electric. Yeah. It's so so as far as the driving is concerned, at the technological features, uh, I think it is it is uh, electric is very strong. Yeah. It's really, really nice, especially when you're driving uh, in, in the cities and uh, these small roads and so on. Then the electric is, um, yeah, really great, it is. Then uh, we have the, the problem with the infrastructure, of course, when you're driving from Sweden to Spain or something like that. Uh, it's possible to do it, but you need to prepare much more and uh, maybe not able to drive as long as you can with a normal diesel in that sense so um, much more trouble it is for, for for these long hauls but in the as far as the long haul is concerned in the second half of this year the long haul electric is about uh, the fh era also electric uh, which will be able to run 600 a distance of 600 yeah. kilometers is will be out mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming more and more with the with the range and so on. But uh, you you still need to to charge. You can charge faster and faster also. Uh, but you need always an an app, or uh, you don't know exactly how to pay. Uh, and uh, I don't talk uh, French, for example. And everything is standing in French or, or Spanish, or so it's really hard to. To make it uh, to make it smooth yeah, yeah. to make it easy uh, for a diesel just go into a, a fuel stop and then fill it up and then go uh, it's not the same for electric uh, so the language barrier is still quite significant yeah, yeah it is it is I and uh, so many different uh, chargers and so on also i mean if you get a 50 kilowatts or 300 then it makes it's a difference, big, of course. Yes, yeah, yeah, big of course. difference. So. And as far as adapters are concerned, so as far as technological equipment is concerned, that's not the problem. But the, of course, there are different charging times, different amount of power, yeah. which which plays a role. Yeah, yeah, it does. We we can charge up to two hundred and fifty kilowatts an hour. So uh, by one and a half hour, if you have a super uh, up to two hundred and fifty in that case. I mean. That will cost you more to charge in that sense. Mm. Uh, if you can charge with only 50 kilowatts an hour during night time, then the amount of, of payment that you have to pay, uh, and maybe you can do it at your own depot and so on, then you can earn a lot of money, uh, of course. So in general, electric will win over diesel as far as consumption is concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that your assumption? Yeah, yeah. I actually like them. <laughs> I know that uh, some people don't like it, but uh, why so? I think it's more 
old people like me. Uh, <laughs> they have been driving less, uh, less young truck. people. Yeah. <laughs> They've been uh, driving truck for for a long time, and they are used to to look in certain points and uh, see the to have the mirrors. Yeah, to have the mirrors, and uh, they can see the angle of the trailer and, and so on. But uh, after a while, it's really lovely, and especially the uh, the night mode. What you said before. I mean. This is highly useful, I imagine. Yes, it is. How about the, the batteries now? I mean, on the one hand, of course, they're eating up some capacity due to the fact that it's 500 kilos each. Yeah. But still, uh, of course, it's not always the maximum payload you, you are having. So in the end, with, I think, six batteries are, is the regular number, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, if you are just driving in a small city, then uh, maybe it's enough with uh, two, three or four batteries also, or five batteries. But uh, if it's on a regional you, level, yeah, yeah. if you are driving a little bit longer, but I mean that if you're ordering a, a truck, then you will have uh, this discussion with a salesman and uh, they will do the calculation how, how many batteries you, you need. Have. So efficiency from, is going uh, from, up regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going very, very fast also. Okay. I think it was in, in the beginning, it was 66 kilowatts an hour. Uh, now we have 90, the same weight, the same size and everything. So, I mean, it's... Uh, so, it's, uh, so it was 50% uh, more yeah, in six yeah, years, yeah, so basically. Yeah. It's on. Mm -hmm. uh, tire press monitor. Mm. And this is for the pressure and also you get for the temperature. Uh, you have the the engine brake and the uh, retarder or uh, whatever you have on the on the diesel. Here you have almost the same, but you are taking it back to the uh, to the battery. Of course, you can use your your foot brake also uh, if you want to. But uh, but usually it's it's, it's usually, motor brake you're going for. Yeah, but yeah, because you should always try to not use your feet. I'm trying to never use my foot when I'm trying to drive as economic as possible. Then you've you done something wrong or miscalculated the traffic or uh, I so see. The and game. look uh, if you like the design or not of course. So, uh, But as a driver you will not see that but of course if you are driving the XXL then uh, you will have a, a bigger cabin and that you will know of course. Wow. Speeding That's up, a, acceleration is really, it's really dreamy. Yeah, it's just going. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, no, no noise and uh, nothing. So that's, uh, yeah, lovely. Mm. If you put the, the brake here, you can have it on A, zero and one. If you put it on one, then you will have one pedal drive. So I don't need to use the brake, I only, use the uh, the gas throttle so I just let it up a little bit uh, then retarder is going to kick in so give it back energy to the uh, the battery so it will break automatically so there was also the green track award yeah. at the beginning of this year week 10 and I think you were also present when trucker did this audit for three yeah. days of yeah. the track yeah so what was the experience with the diesel there it was uh, great since we won this year so uh, <laughs> then quite we, satisfactory yeah, yeah then we shouldn't say anything else of course. how many brands were, were involved uh three brands ah, yeah, okay. yeah. so but uh, yeah it's actually the truck in front of us uh, mm -hmm. who, uh, it was the who, truck that who won was that, yeah exactly so, won the competition yeah. yeah tell me about the ic technology the ic mm -hmm. yeah you have the, the map data and uh, depending on the inclination of the, uh, the hill or wherever you are going, uh, we have the, the correct uh, information. So uh, the truck knows when to shift gear or if we, we should go into eye roll and um, stuff like that. So we always have the best consumption. So sometimes the optimization goes even beyond your own assumptions yeah, and saying, yeah, because yes. you can't, you, you don't know what's, what's in front of you. Yeah. 
exactly. then you need to, yeah, yeah. Can you translate VDS, the abbreviation? Uh, Vol Volvo Dynamic Steering, it is. Okay. Yeah. So it's an extra pump that makes it much easier to, to steer the, the truck and... Uh, Gives you stability. Stability and uh, also if uh, a front tire blow, blows up, for example, then mm. uh, you have much better chance to, to stay on the road instead of just going yeah, out of the wood. So, uh, and pilot assist is uh, uh, adaptive cruise control, but the truck will stay in line also when you have good lines like here. Then I can let go of my hands and the truck will but just both. follow the road. Yeah. Uh, stay on the lane. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, also, if, if you don't keep your hand on, then you will have a warning 45 seconds later that Please wake up. Wake up, exactly. Do something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you don't do anything by then, then you will have a second warning also. And later on, the truck will break, break automatically, and unlock the door and put on the uh, warning blinkers uh, if mm. something has happened with the uh, with the driver. I hope it will be uh, much better infrastructure and we can also lower the price for, for the trucks, of course. So, uh, because we need it for the environment, we need much more electric trucks as it is uh, today. How long are you with Volvo Trucks now, Jonas? For Volvo Trucks, I've been there almost three three years, but total for Volvo it's 22 years. So you know all kinds of trucks? Yeah, some of them, at least. <laughs> and so you ended up in the best place you could end, end up? In Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. It's a really nice country. 460 PS, that's, yeah. that's quite some horsepower. And 2,600 uh, Newton meters. Mm. And is this the equivalent of the electric vehicle? Electric no, vehicle the electric has, uh, has uh, 666 horsepower and 2,400 newton meters. You feel that on the road? You've been driving both? Yeah, I've been driving both. I've mostly been driving the electric ones. Mm -hmm. So I, I prefer it. If you're a really good driver, sometimes you m might beat the system, but as a driver, you're getting tired. The system will never gets tired. And if that's if you know the route, if you drive the same route the, every day, yeah, maybe you can beat the system, but otherwise it's impossible. So the robot beats the driver in the long run? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and also we have the, the CMS ca camera monitoring system. It's, it's also a really nice feature, especially if it's, it's, if it's pitch black, dark outside, we have the we have this uh, night vision. It's, it's yeah. really nice. Do you feel some nostalgia? I mean, are you are you sorry about the fact that that diesel is going out? Uh, no, uh, not. Uh, I don't care if I don't mind if diesel is going down. If we found something good to replace it with, can you can you mm. check check out the gears? Yeah, I can. I can uh, switch manual, but it's no use because it's full automatic. So just put it in A and. The truck will do the rest. 
now I'm turning left. I can see I have a camera here, so I can see what's on the right side. This. Ah, yes. How is the weight distribution in the truck? Is it well balanced? Yes. Here's the front axle weight, 7.9 tons. The rear axle, 9.8 tons. And the axles for the for the trailer, mm -hmm. and the weight of the trailer, and the weight of the truck. And we have, in this corner we have the total weight of the of the truck and trailer. Can you can you drive it smoothly? This, yeah, we have the Volvo Dynamic Steering, so it's, I can drive it with a, a finger. I see. Yeah, but also I, I'm driving Volvo for many years, so to drive a Volvo is like it's like a, it feels like home to drive a Volvo. This truck is uh, have, a, have a brand new feature. It's when we are driving with the cruise control and uh, we're driving above 60 kilometers per hour you uh, we before we have something that uh, we have something that called i roll so when you're driving and we don't and the truck is rolling uh, nowadays we shut down the engine complete so the engine will shut down automatically it will it will go it will shut will be shut down yes we are at the moment we are the only brand that has this function i see so we call it uh, I, I roll with engine shut off start stop functionality. It's a quite long name, but that's the name. <laughs> Can you repeat it, please? Yeah. I roll with engine shut off with start stop functionality. Okay, more than 40 hours later. Hmm? It has been, well, let's make it four hours, but it was a long day. We really experienced uh, great different types of driving. Thanks for having us today. Looking forward to the, the end of this year at the latest. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Stefan. <laughs> Thanks, Jonas. Thank you.